Hi welcome guys. back to our channel. Welcome back. Welcome to the family. Hi, 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 how are you guys? If you're new to our channel. If you're new to our channel. Please subscribe our videos. If you're already part of family, hit the bell button to be notified. Alright, click the subscribe button, guys. Please help us reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Year, yeah. All right. Please, Please. and we click also on have the subscribe button. Facebook, Instagram, and Instagram. Check, connect with us, chat with us, and follow us. And, Everything and, in the description and section. Share with us. Yeah, share, share, share. And the video that we're gonna be reacting is by alux.com 15 things you, you did didn't not know about Pakistan. Mm -hmm. So we're going to learn more about Pakistan. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Are we ready? Ready. Let's go. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at alux. Oh, okay, yeah. That's enough. With so by the way, I'm JR. I'm Zay. I'm Nika. I'm JJ. Thank you for the reminder, JJ. Oh, sorry. Background info. It's time to take a closer look at this fascinating country with the 15 things you didn't know about Pakistan. 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 Number one. Pakistan is the fifth most populous country in the world. Oh my gosh. Pakistan has a population of over 210 million people as of the end of 2017, which makes it the fifth most populated country in the world behind China, India, and the United States and Indonesia. Its population is expected to be over 290 million by 2050. Wow. Number two, 60% of footballs are made in Pakistan. Oh. Mm. Sialkot is a relatively small city in Punjab, Pakistan, that exports about $2 billion worth of goods per year, about 10% of Pakistan's total exports. Notably, Sialkot is the world's largest producer of hand-sown footballs, Ooh, or plug your ears for American they do the soccer football balls, football. as they're referred to in the U.S. Their local factories manufacture between 40 and 60 million footballs a year, which is roughly 60% of the world population. Sialkot is the world's largest center of surgical instrument manufacturing as well. Number three, Pakistan means land of the pure. The name Pakistan was created out of the first letters of the Pakistani people's homelands of Punjab, Afghania, Kashmir, Iran, Sindh, Takaristan, and Afghanistan, and the last several letters of their other homeland, Baluchistan. The word Pakistan also means land of the pure in Urdu and Persian. Number four. The Kura salt mine in Pakistan is the largest and oldest salt mine in the world. Oh. The Kura salt mine is located in Kura in the Punjab region salt. of yeah. Pakistan. Yeah. It was discovered in 320 BC and it remains the world's oldest and largest salt, salt mine. mine. It's a major tourist attraction in Pakistan with about 250,000 visitors annually and it also produces 350,000 tons of salt every year and is the country's largest source of salt. Estimates of the salt reserves remaining in the mine range from 82 million to 600 million tons. Wow. Number five, the youngest Nobel Peace Prize winner came from Pakistan. Mm. Malala Yousafzai became the world's youngest Nobel laureate in history in 2014, receiving the Nobel Peace Prize when she was just 17 years old. Wow. As a young teenager, Malala defied the Taliban in Pakistan and fought for girls to receive an education. Oh, Her activism okay. resulted in the Taliban issuing a death threat against her. When she was 15 years old, she was shot in the head by a Taliban gunman, but she survived and became an even more outspoken advocate for all children to have equal access to education. education Malala yes. is one of only two Nobel Prize winners that have come from Pakistan. The other was Abdus Salam, who won the award for physics in 1979. Number six, Pakistan has the sixth largest armed force in the world. Yeah. As of 2017, Pakistan has over 650,000 active military members, making it the sixth largest armed forces in the world behind China, wow. India, and the United States, as well as North Korea and Russia. The Pakistani military is instrumental in supporting UN peacekeeping missions. Pakistan mm. also has some of the best trained Air Force pilots in the world. Wow. Number seven. Pakistan had the first female prime minister of any Muslim country. 
Benazir Bhutto served as the Prime Minister of Pakistan from 1988 to 1990, and again from 1993 to 1996, wow. making her the first woman to head a democratic government in a Muslim-majority nation. Tragically, Bhutto was assassinated in 2007 oh as she was waving to a crowd from an opening in the roof of her bulletproof car. An unidentified man fired three shots at her and then detonated the suicide vest he was wearing, fatally injuring the Prime Minister. Oh Number eight, Pakistan would not give permission to film Zero Dark Thirty in their country. Leader of Al-Qaeda, Osama bin Laden, was killed on May 2, 2011 by U.S. Special Forces during a raid in Abbottabad, Pakistan. The 2012 film Zero Dark Thirty was a dramatic depiction of the hunt for bin Laden after the September 11th attacks and his eventual death at the hands of SEAL Team 6. Although Pakistan was obviously an important backdrop for the story, the filmmakers' requests to film in the country were denied by the government. Instead, the Pakistani scenes were filmed in India, which brought protests from Hindu Nationalist Party members who objected to Pakistani locations being portrayed on Indian soil. The film was widely acclaimed and was one of the most successful movies of 2012 really? at the box that, office. Girl. Number 9. Pakistan is one of two Muslim countries that open military combat jobs to women. Mm. Women have been fighting in the Pakistani military ever since the country was founded in 1947. Currently, there are about 4,000 women in active duty in the Pakistani armed forces, wow. including female fighter pilots as of 2006. Wow. Pakistan is the only Muslim-majority country other than Turkey okay. to allow females to hold combat roles within the military. Okay. Number 10. Marvel has a female Pakistani-American superhero. Kamala Khan, who was the superhero name of Miss Marvel, is a teenage Pakistani-American superhero character that debuted in August 2013, becoming Marvel's first Muslim character to headline their own comic book. Khan has shape-shifting abilities and inhuman genes. Miss Marvel Volume 1, No Normal, was the best-selling graphic novel in October 2014, and it reached number two on the New York Times bestseller list of graphic books. If you want to learn some more fascinating facts about the comic book giant click in the upper right hand corner to watch our video of 15 things you didn't know about marvel oh. number 11 pakistan's flag symbolizes progress oh. and light oh. the national flag of pakistan was adopted on august 11 1947 three days before pakistan achieved its independence the flag has a green background that represents islam and the majority muslims in pakistan with a white stripe on one side representing religious minorities and minority religions the white crescent moon symbolizes progress while the five rayed star symbolizes light Number 12. Pakistan's K2 mountain has a 27% fatality rate. The K2 mountain, located on the border between Pakistan and China, is the second highest mountain peak in the world at 28,251 feet in elevation, just 780 feet or 237 meters shorter than the highest peak of Mount Everest. K2 has an unfortunate reputation of having a fatality rate that is three times higher than Mount Everest. 27% of climbers who have attempted to summit the peak of K2 have died in the process, while while only 9% have died while attempting to climb to the top of Mount Everest. A little over 300 people have summited K2, and over 80 people have died in the process. 11 of those climbers died in a single day back in 2008. Oh my God. Number 13. Martial artist Muhammad Rashid holds the most world records in Pakistan. Muhammad Rashid is the founder and president of the Pakistan Academy of Martial Arts, and he also has the distinction of holding the most world record titles in Pakistan. However, his records are probably not what you would imagine. The titles he holds includes the most walnuts crushed by hand in one minute with 201. Most walnuts crushed by an elbow in one minute with 128. The most spins of a fire staff in one minute with 188. And the most nunchaku hits in one minute with 350. His latest record came in 2017 when he crushed 77 full soda cans to a width of 3 centimeters in in less than one minute. Wow. Number 14. Facebook gives Pakistanis access to free internet. Wow. In 2015, Mark Zuckerberg announced that Facebook would be providing free internet access for users in Pakistan through their internet.org initiative. Wow. The aim of internet.org is to provide free internet access to people in developing countries in order to help better connect the world. 
prior to Facebook providing free internet, only about 15% of Pakistan's population had reliable access to the web. Facebook provides free basic internet services to more than a billion people in a total of 63 okay. countries around the world. Number 15. Shahid Khan is the richest person of Pakistani origin. Shahid Khan was born in Lahore, Punjab, Pakistan in 1950. At the age of 16, he moved to the United States to attend college. At the age of 28, he started a company called Bumper Works, which made car bumpers. Later, he bought a company he had previously worked for called Flexengate and began supplying bumpers to General Motors, Ford, and Fiat Chrysler. This made him very financially successful, and today he has a net worth of $8.7 billion wow. and is the owner of the Jacksonville Jaguar NFL team and wow. the English League Championship team, Fulham FC. This makes him the wealthiest person of Pakistani origin and is the 158th wealthiest person in the world. Now that you've learned some more about Pakistan, we'd wow. love to know, which other countries would you like to learn? Wow, huh? Wow. That's a good information. Uh -huh. Guys, if anything was not said... On this, uh, of course, a lot of a things. A lot of things. Yeah. Let us know in the comment section. Write in the comment yeah, section so that you know we can read it and we can be aware, right? Yeah. So and also, if you like this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up button and the like, like button. All right, then, guys. Always remember. Be kind, be happy, and always keep smiling. Thank, thank you, you very for much watching, for watching guys. guys. Bye. Bye.